this for me? Yes, I, I will. I have a baseball here. I have to ask you a question. Are you Jackie from Jackie's Buzz? I've seen you before. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I know you're used to dealing with entertainment people, but this is a softball. Oh. I'm a baseball player. Baseball. But I tell you what, I do know how to sign this. Oh, so great. we'll go ahead and do it anyhow. Okay, great. Softball, baseball. <laughs> thank you so thank you. much, Jim. Wow, thank you. Thank you. Jackie's Buzz, what coming to you buzz? not so live from New Haven, Connecticut. Jackie's Buzz. Hi, I'm Jackie with Jackie's Buzz, and I'm here with world famous <laughs> hero, New York Yankees hero, Jim Layritz. Thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank you for it's having amazing. me. It's amazing. And you have this wonderful book. We're here at Barnes & Noble, and it's called Catching the Heat. And I'm sorry, Catching Heat, not Catching the Heat, Catching Heat. And it sounds absolutely fascinating, and I just bought it and got it signed and everything. I can't wait to read it at home. But tell us a little bit about what made you want to sit down and kind of give all the details. Is, is that kind of hard to do, to really lay it all out there? Yeah, it's very difficult. In the beginning, I had started writing the book uh, in my first 40, by my first 44 years of life <sighs> um, about never being drafted, making it in New York, being a big major leaguer and having a moment that people remember and a every big kid's, moment yeah, right <laughs> every kid's dream you know of playing on the sand lot of having that one day and I was able to experience that and then of course I came home uh, in 2003 I gave up the game to come home and take care of my children and I had been speaking to people in, at, at different events about my life and somebody approached me one day and said you got a great inspirational book to write you do and uh you know just about your career and about how you made it and beating the odds and everything else and we started talking about it and then unfortunately i was involved in a very serious car yeah. accident in 2007 that unfortunately a woman passed away with and um at the beginning i was charged with with, with a vehicular homicide and uh, manslaughter and uh i spent three years having to uh, go through the courts and, and wait for my day in court to be able to prove wow. Three and really, years, that's yeah, now. that's what the last three chapters were wow. about. And uh, really just about spiritual faith and, and believing that there's reasons for everything. And really, uh, I, as I went through the three years, uh, I was telling my story at church one day, and a woman heard me telling it, and she said, you know, you really have a more spiritual side book. Because it was a father-son yeah, book. Yeah, you have to. to <laughs> it was a father-son book to begin with. Uh, and she said, you know, this is more of, I think you can inspire a lot of people. Yeah. Now that you've been through you know, this, and uh, so that's that was the end result Wonderful. of the book. Now, as a little boy, were you? I always want to play. Were you always wanting no. to? You were. Well, I grew up with the Cincinnati Reds, and Pete Rose was my <sighs> idol. And from the tenth grade on, I was practicing my autograph. Oh, you um, were! And see, yeah. it was a dream come true. Yeah. Oh my and goodness! I actually thought it might be basketball because basketball was my main passion. Was it? Okay. And then by the time I got to be my senior year, my dad said to me, "You know what, Jim?" You know, you're, you're, you're a better chance of playing professionally would be baseball, so maybe you should choose baseball. And I think he was right. You made the right choice. So tell me in that moment what it felt like when you did the home run that, it, you know, made the World Series. Were you just... Yeah. Well, it's surreal. It is you know, surreal, right? Do you look back and... Yeah, you're rounding the bases, and, you know, it wasn't a walk-off home run. I had hit a walk-off home run the year before in 95. And I'm terrible at sports, yeah. so we'll yeah. bear with me, but, <laughs> but I'm very fascinated. Yeah. Yeah. But in the playoffs in 95, I had a walk-off home run in Yankee Stadium, mm -hmm. which to this day is my best moment, my moment. Ah. But the home run I hit in 96 tied up the game and gave us, swung the momentum for us to go on and win that World Series. And because we won the World Series, it became a huge, pivotal moment. And of course, what the Yankees went on to be after that was was even more uh, a, a reason that home run became important. And wow. uh, it was just great to be a part of. And like I said, it's 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 always nice to to have a moment where people know where they were, right. what they were doing, and uh, you know, always be a part of the New York history. Now, why do you uh, why do you uh, think that uh, a little bit of Kramer? Why is that? I heard something about Kramer well, and an apron. By the way, do you do you cook with an apron and do the whole dance? Yes, thing? I, I do. have to say, yes. Larry told me that, and I have to bring that up. Yes, yes. Uh, well, <laughs> you know, that's what? such a cute picture of you in an apron. <laughs> exactly. Well, I've been a single father for the last five years as the primary parent. And, okay. Yeah, you know, with th with three boys, you have to learn how to cook. Right. And okay. You have to learn the recipes and you have to learn everything. Okay. Uh, but the Kramer the Kramer the Kramer connection. connection was, I love Kramer. I always joked about because I was never an everyday player. I was never Don Mattingly. I was never Derek Jeter. I was always that other piece that was important to the puzzle, but was never the puzzle. And that's kind of how I, w I was relating you know, the Kramer star story was it was always, you know, 
the second fiddle, not the right. first fiddle. But in the end, you know, I look back at my career and I look at it and I say, listen, you know what? I wouldn't have been in those situations, may not have had those moments, right. had I not been the second fiddle. Exactly. Uh, I love that because that's yeah. like, you know, <laughs> the underdog, right? Exactly. <laughs> okay, exactly. and lastly, can you give any advice for those young boys, those young kids really wanting to get into sports now? And I know it's so hard fighting the fame and doing all that. Would you say you would do it all over again? Or what, what are your words of wisdom to try to get? Well, that's part of the reason I wrote the book was so yeah. people can, so kids can still read it and see, listen, you know what? You can achieve your dreams even though you may not be the superstar. Right. You may not be, you may never get drafted. I never got drafted. You may never be the prospect. Aspect. But you know what, if you work hard and you believe in yourself and you believe that you can get through just about anything, and that helped me both in professionally and in my personal life. I love that. The struggles believe I in through. yourself and anything's possible. Yeah. That's a great way to end. Thank yes. you so much, yeah. Jim, for talking to me. It's Thank lovely. you. Thank you very much. And that's it for Jackie's Buzz.